the Igbo Happy Social Cultural Organization, or Igbo, came on Friday a, a charge to Southeast Youth to stop the violence. The group said there is nothing to celebrate in violence. It was reacting to this pact of violence in the zone, which has seen since gunmen kill mami and burn government facilities. But Oranese Ndigbo asked the federal government to conduct urgent, in-depth investigation into the destruction of lives and property in the region by security agents. It said the camp down was unacceptable and warned of the consequences of human rights violations for the country. However, some Igbo youth said the geopolitical zoom will not bow to any act of intimidation. The President General Oranese, Dr. George Obiozo, told journalists in Enugu that Indigo would neither support the breakup of Nigeria nor become victims of Nigerians' unity. Obiozo, a former ambassador to the United States of America, described as unfortunate the implications of the President Muhammad Buhari's recent statement on the civil war. He said, the last time I checked or heard a president speak of shock and it was reserved for the enemy, not the citizens, but had said earlier in the week that many of those misbehaving today are too young to be aware of the destruction and loss of lives that occurred during the Biafra war. Those of us in the faith for 30 months who went through the war, we treat them in the language they understand. Obiozo appealed to Igbo youths involved in violence to have a rethink. He said, I strongly advise them that there is nothing to celebrate in violence. We cannot change our laws and situation by staring and provoking hatred among ourselves raining insults and abuses on ourselves and declaring war against those who disagree with your own ideas and approach to resolving our common problems. What good ideas it do to us in the destruction of government institutions and facilities, most of which were built by our own people and donated to the government for our own benefit and the general good of the society. Appeal to Igbo youth to kindly avoid violence in spite of all provocations. We know how aggrieved we are, but peace options are the best. Oranese wants more objects the federal government to reconsider the use of force in resolving the present national crisis. Oranese Ndigbo worldwide considers it's imperative on the part of the federal government to conduct urgent, in-depth investigations on the destruction of lives and property in the Southeast. Obiozo, who condemned the level of extrajudiciary killing of innocent Igbo youths by security, security agents in the Southeast, reiterated that history shows that military and violent means to solve the national problem often lead to national functionalization, anarchy, and eventually or inevitable uh, disintegration. He regretted that Nigeria has a history of crisis and continuity, as well as creative use of crisis as means of solving our national political problems whenever we are near the brinks of cast uh, catastrophe. In the recent past, we have had the uh, NDDC, Niger Delta Militants, and Boko Haram insurgency. Organize to the federal government to realize and be confident enough that no secessionist forces can defeat Nigeria. Harden the president the present situation in the country will soon be history. This too shall pass. He added, 
Organize Zendigbo Worldwide calls for a dialogue to resolve the present national crisis. The federal government should acknowledge that because of the reality of Nigeria, uh, uh, okay, sorry, because of the reality of Nigeria, uh, irresistible, it is always uh, preferable to go for dialogue instead of force. Majority of Nigerians prefer unity to secession or separation. They want justice, peace, equity, and fairness. The golden rule of do unto others what you would like done unto you. That is complementary and inclusive government. In fact, a brief glance at Nigerian society, there is no shortage of valence among our political elites, but like many societies, societies, a deeper look into Nigeria, you will see that the country's political heroes still exist, though the valence may noisily dominate the political space. Consequently, to sue uh, Nigeria, to develop Nigeria, and to have peace, the federal government should immediately engage all Nigerian groups through their various leaders in an urgent dialogue. Dialogue is what uh, Nigerians, p p patriotic Nigerians, and Nigeria well wishes, admires, and the international community is now expecting of Nigerian leadership to resolve the present national crisis and not military action. It is not. It is time for peaceful action and dialogue, not war and destruction. Organizing the book calls on the federal government to take note of the ongoing human rights violations in the Southeast zone. Guys, I'm dropping it here for now. You've all heard it now. Uh, kindly hit the comment section and don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you very much.